afternoon everybody it's Lisa so glad to be here with you guys today today I think we're gonna work on specimen cards or index cards or whatever you want to call them I I mentioned these rose pages before and I really love them not you know what? Does have roses? No, this does not. So we'll get rid of them. But these are so pretty. Such pretty papers with roses on them. And they have, they do have the actual information on a, some of them about the roses and all. So I thought that would be very nice to put in our rosy journal, but we have to make the cards first. So here I have my little cuddle bug. Let me move this and I'll show you. I got all kind of, I thought I cleaned this all up, obviously. I did not. Alright, so I did do the papers. I cut them out. Cut these papers out to use. Um, I did fold them in half. And I'm only, well, I'm going to fold them in half after we put, cut out a hole like a circle or a square or whatever you want to do. So... Alright, so let's try this one more time. Alright, so I figured I'd go on the inside of the card. This way, if it does, the paper sticks too much and pulls, the tape pulls at the paper a little bit, it's not going to be as noticeable. But I try to do it lightly, but we also have to remember it's going through and being pressed by this equipment here. So there's a good shot that it's not going to come off properly. That's why I was trying to get it. One moment. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to move the, my cup of coffee. Thank God that didn't spill. Okay, so let's see. All right, let's see. Did it go through, I hope, all the way? There's one. No, no, it didn't. Let's see, I should have gone back and forth. All right, there's two. Now see how this is getting stuck. That's why I put it on the inside of the card today. Be worried about it, and I'll put them away later. Nice and neat and pretty. I'm sorry. If, oh no. Well, that should have gone through with one pass. On here. Yeah, see? Perfect. Perfect. Look, I got tape all over the place. Okay, and that looks crooked. Yeah, it is. A little bit. See how it's a little crooked. I don't know why that looks crooked. Well, I guess because it is, right? I don't know. We'll fix it. We'll be able to fix it. Maybe I won't even notice when we use it. And I also did want to do, I wanted to put that in an embossing folder. I don't know where I put it. I did want to use, this is like a little embossing folder. But you can put it like on the 
top, I guess, or the sides, like here. You can put it here. Or on the edge. Maybe that's what we'll do. Put it on the edge of this. Or we can stick it on the one that's crooked. We'll do that. And, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see the design in there. But I'm kind of trying to get it. Wait a minute. Trying to get it just on this. And trying to get it maybe centered a little. But we all know how that works with me, right? It doesn't. Alright. Um. See? Oh my goodness. I swear. Like. Oi. Okay. Now, where did I put that other thing? Oh, it's under here. Okay. So now we have this crooked again. All right. So now we will just go through with that and hope that it worked and it did it looks like it moved but it still looks pretty <gasps> see turned out so nice I like that a lot hmm I don't know if maybe I should do that maybe I should try to do it on the um maybe on the side of the card of the card let's see we can do that. Here we have to do it upside down like this. Hmm. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this right. I'm trying to see where exactly the whole design is. Versus the line of the paper through here. And I don't know. Okay, let's try that. That was kind of stupid, Lisa. Okay, let's try that. We'll see how it turns out. If not, we don't have to use this one, or we can save it for something else. Hey, I look. Oh, that looks pretty. Alright, so, we have our specimen cords out and done. Let's put this away. Let me get this organized. I'll be right back. Okay. We are back. So. We have these three or four. Four cards. Right? And a button. I don't know what that's from. So we got those cards and uh, my pictures. Where'd they go? That pissed. I lost them. Oh, here they are. On the chair. Okay, so we have these pretty pictures of the roses. So they're saying that these are polyanthus. Let's see, this is what upsets me because then they're double sided paper papers so uh, these would I would prefer to use in the actual book but despite that it has it on here too we're going to use them anyhow so you can always 
check and see which roses look better where. And part of my arm again. Okay, so I don't know. I don't like these colors. Oh, these roses are gorgeous. Now that would look better on the square because it's smaller. Like that. I wish I could have roses. They're so beautiful. They really are. Hmm. Well, we can use these book pages or we can use magazine pages. We can use anything like that. That would go well together and have lots of pictures of roses. Now, I do have other books. Let me go find them. I forgot. I have this book from, I got it on Amazon, and every page has pretty flowers. Of course, they're all different. We're looking for the rose. Here's a rose. Right, it does say, does it say rose? I can't even read it. Rose, yeah. Where's the thing? Rose. So, we could always, if we have books like this, we can always take them and use these already printed pictures. Or we can use a book like this. roses in here. Rosa. Rosa. It's an old book. Flowers of the World. See how shiny that is. This book is from 1964. Which I thought was awesome. So. Okay. So. I am back. So we're trying to figure out here what rose looks best where. Does that look great? Or does it look good with this? I would think that this would look better with the pink or the red because it's not that color. Rose. So I got that one, which belongs to this paper that does have, I think it's the piece it says. So we have this part for this rose that we can put on the back of the card. you can forgive my sniffing. My allergies are so bad. My nose just runs and runs all day long. All right. I mean, if we want, we could even take this off and put it down here. But... However you want to set it up, that's one that's like totally up to you. 
and your preferences and all that. So let's see. And I kind of do like that with the gray. And this stands out here because of the pink. Well, let's see. Hmm, I don't know, I might like that better there. And then this. Hmm. That does look pretty, very pretty. Okay, so what I'm basically going to do is put some glitter glue around all right so let me just center it up and glue it on down and obviously you can use whatever glue you want whatever glue you have doesn't matter let me see something here if i could get this square to be bigger than that i like this one better i'd like to get like the leaves and stuff in there too this way we can see all of it All right, we did basically the same thing. And if you have really nice printing or calligraphy, if you can do that really beautifully, you could always just right on the back of the card or the front of the card as to what it is what flower is it i am not so lucky i've always wanted to learn how to do calligraphy and i just i just never stick with it enough to actually actually learn like i can sort of do a little tiny bit but Nothing uh, to write home to mother about. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. And do the same thing. Let's get the glue. And then line it up and see what part we want. Looks pretty good. And there we have that. So this one we can take and put this. Huh, cut it straight first. Actually, I think I'm just going to take this. The, the actual name of it off. And put that like up top. And then we could probably do like little, uh, almost like a little brackets like that. And just put that right on there to make sure that we know what our which rose is what I just thought this would be a good a little addition a nice addition uh oh to the journal and we're going to have this crease And there you have it. And obviously if you want to leave this 
as like a card they can write in. You can glue another piece of paper on there to cover this book page up. Or what I was planning on doing was just gluing the card down. Gluing both this side and that side. And this way we don't have to worry about that. We can make it like an index card type thing or you can leave it. Where's that bone folder? Or we can just thinking of making that like cutting the things and making it a tag that's the word we can always make it tags we can just keep them in there as informational type things now like this doesn't have the information about the plant so I mean I'm sure you could go look it up that type of rose and then print it out if you want it's up to you whatever you want to do with your uh, tags or what did I call them specimen slides so pretty something else you can do little dashes around here to make it look like you sewed around it if you want to do that I really like this with the the embossing down the side oh yeah I was like which one did I do the bottom one this here I could always do that on this excuse me maybe that's what I'll do so, well, the point of this was to take out your old equipment and find a use for it because we're so always so worried about the next best thing coming out and you probably have a whole bunch of great things that you purchased that you haven't used in a long time. Or, if you don't have things and think that you can't do projects because you don't have the right, the right equipment, you could do it. You could take this, put it down, circle, cut that out, and do the same thing. You don't have to have all this you can put lace on it or different washi tapes or anything like that however you want your design to look you do it it's your design and in that case i will go now and start another project or something of that nature finish this one of course so that the next time I see you, hopefully, we will have a finished journal. Because this was the last thing I kind of really wanted to do. So, I will see you another day. I hope you have the best rest of your day. And I will see you very, oh, sorry, not the camera. I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.